Hi, I am just sitting here putting this vlog together and it's a bit awkward because there's no proper intro. Um, so it's just the second day of moving in. Um, gonna be building a bed and things like that, so enjoy. take a building break just to let you know what is up today Kara and I got an uber here um, and we thought we would just get an uber XL and um, bring as much stuff as we could fit in it um, so we did that and we actually got a decent amount of stuff here and then Kara's coming back later in the day with more stuff with her friend um, so the move-in process has well and truly begun. Um, I have my bed, obviously, my four-poster bed. I only ordered it yesterday, and I didn't get any notification that it was coming today, and then I was, like, not even out of bed yet, and I got a shower, um, I got a call being like, oh, I've got a delivery. I was like, are you there now? And he was like, yeah. I was like, I'm not there. Um, you know, I didn't know it was coming today. I asked if he could leave it in the lobby and he said that he would if he could like catch somebody going in or out um, otherwise he was like I don't know what the process is to get it re-delivered 
Mm. Sorry, bad time to take a bite, but I'm hungry. He's like, I don't know what the process is to get it re-delivered. I can't bring it back later in the day. So um, I just had to basically wait and see whether he would be able to leave it in the lobby or not. And he did. So I love that man. And um, yeah, big day building this bed. I am very proud of my process so far. I'd say I'm like halfway through. And at first I was like, this is impossible. I have no idea what I'm doing. But now I feel like I've got like into the swing of things. Um, and then lots of unpacking to do. And, which is annoying because I don't have the chest of drawers yet. But it's fine. Um, what was I going to show? My mind has just gone completely empty. Truly not a clue what I was going to say. I'll be back once I've figured out what I want to say. I figured it out. I don't know if this bed has slats. And if it doesn't have slats, then... Hang on. There are slats in the picture. There are slats in the picture, but I don't see any that I've been delivered with. That I've been delivered. Am I supposed to have bought them separately? or Non-slip tape slap. Because these, these four aren't those. Did I get the non-slip tape slats? Slats? I don't see any. But I guess I'll figure that out when I get there. They're not like numbered in the instructions. Yeah, I didn't receive any. Do I have to buy slats separately? Is that a thing? It doesn't say. That's so weird. I guess I'll have to look it up. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. Um, I'm just going to finish my yoga and then keep building. I figured it out. I looked it up and it says strong steel slats. Steel slats. So then I looked back at this and these are my strong steel slats. And there's 12 of them. And that's these. I thought at a glance that this was just four thicker poles because that's what it looks like from the top. But they're actually stacked. So, all's fine. You can stop stressing about it now. this was going too well <laughs> I just got to one of the last steps which is putting this pole down the center of the bed and I noticed that there's no holes to screw it in because on both sides I've done it bloody backwards so I just had to take these two apart which I hope isn't gonna I don't know be too hard or ruin anything too much God, I just knew it was going too well. So, damn. Okay, let's keep going.
Dude, I made this. Can you believe it? I really cannot. I'm so impressed with myself. Very, very, very pleased. It's so grand. There's so much mess on the ground. Look at that. You come in, you just, you know, go past my room and you're like, damn, she must be a grand woman. So good. Would you look at what I did? I can't believe it. It's huge. It really doesn't look as big as it is on camera. And the mattress is so tall. Like, look at how big the, like, how tall the bed is compared to me. I feel like that's taller, taller than the normal bed. If I sit on it, my feet aren't even touching the ground. And I have long legs. Oh, it's so grand. I can't believe I did this. You have no idea how proud I am of myself. It looks incredible. Also, look at the mess I have to clean up. There's so much mess everywhere. Just mess everywhere. And I still have so much stuff to unpack. I haven't even unpacked anything yet. So I'm gonna get on that now. <laughs> I will say this mattress being giant isn't the most practical thing. Um, I didn't realize how tall it was going to be so my fitted sheet like barely fits um I like to have a top sheet all tucked in because I like to feel like I'm in a straight jacket when I get into bed um and that was like a bit of a mish and because it's so big it's really heavy so it was really hard to like tuck everything in properly and then this blanket I just put it on because um I don't have like a full set of I don't have like a duvet and stuff here yet because we're still sleeping at the other place um but it's a huge blanket and on my usual bed it would like hang a long way like almost to the floor so you'd cover up if, there, if there's anything like being stored under the bed or anything like that it's all covered um and you can see like it barely barely covers the mattress really I've got it longer on this side for aesthetic but nevertheless it may not be practical but it sure is grand so happy with that um now on to unpacking what I can day I just went and got myself some food because all I've had to eat today was that yogurt and it's like five o'clock it's after five so I am starving um Kara's coming back soon with more stuff so the day is not over yet um but yeah I've been really productive obviously you saw me make the bed and um put some stuff in the kitchen we didn't have too much Oh, this is so pathetic looking. Oh, this pathetic burrito bowl. Um, we didn't bring too much because we're still based at the other flat. Um, we haven't like fully moved out, so we're still, you know, eating dinner there and stuff. Um, but started putting things away and figuring out where things are gonna go. So that's fun. Um, I also feel like exhausted from online shopping I I mean obviously I've spent a lot already um because I've had to purchase everything excuse me and then I just went online and I bought a rug for the lounge um a microwave and then from Ikea I was actually able to get the stuff that they said when I checked yesterday it said it would t 
take until the 19th of November to get here and then I checked again now and it was able to arrive on Friday two days from now so I ordered a kitchen island a chest of drawers and some Alex drawers um my armchair and footstool that I want to get are both out of stock so they're gonna have to wait but I spent a pretty penny um today so I'm a little worn out from that so I'm just refueling quickly before Kara gets here with more stuff and a lot of it's going to be like or well, most of it's going to be like my actual like personal belongings and things that I can hang in the wardrobe without needing a chest of drawers so I've got her to bring like all of my coat hangers my bags that I've packed with all of my hanging stuff um I can't remember what else but it has been a day I did two trips to the bin room and got rid of all of the rubbish from my bed but I still have to get rid of the rubbish from the uh, TV and the mattress from yesterday but that's okay it's coming along so nicely it's so nice seeing furniture and my stuff start to come in um also I think this is the latest in the day that I've ever been here so it's my first time seeing like what it's like as the light gets darker and what it's like when you actually need to have the light switched on and the curtain closed and I don't know it's just really nice it's all firsts so that's where I'm at that's how today's been so far That's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. So I'm just gonna eat my food. I don't know if this is dinner. I guess it is. I have food back at the other flat that I need to make. I just like can't be bothered doing it. And also it's like healthy stuff. And last night I was like, I don't want healthy stuff. But it's gonna be good. I'm gonna make um, poached chicken bowls. With, like pickled red onions and kale and lots of veggies. Um, I just can never be bothered making it. So if I have the energy, I'll do that tonight and like prep it for the next couple of days. Anywho, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm up to.